Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty. My name is Mr. Hurricane. We're continuing Mountain West Conference play with the Warhawks second game in the conference against the Nevada Wolfpack who enter with a 2-1 record in non-conference play. Kalispell is 3-1 but coming off their most disappointing performance where they could not hold on late against San Jose State. The Spartans played outstanding offense and a big touchdown late in the fourth quarter vaulted them to a 48-41 win. Now the Warhawks are back home after three games on the road and hope to get a W against the Wolfpack. It's Ja'Cory Day out of the end zone and we're underway. Spinning to the near sideline and heading out of bounds toward the Wolfpack bench. Kalispell wearing their green alternates today. They open on offense with three receivers and JR Battle under center. It's a run up the middle and Roscoe Sheridan begins the day with a gain of seven. Sheridan 309 and two touchdowns entering today's game as Battle faces the rush on second down and I believe the defender got a hand on that incomplete. So that brings up third down, another blitz, and the quick pressure will not deny JR Battle. Nice catch by Justin McClellan to move the chains. Same three receiver personnel. It's Sheridan again, but he gets stuffed on first down. That is a loss of one. Andrew Mitchell on the tackle. Now they bunch up the formation. Battle on second down. Hit as he throws, floats it up, and it's nearly picked off. Knocked away by Andrew Mitchell, intended for Hayden John Charles. That sets up third down on the Kalispell side of the 50. Good protection. Airing it out as Day dives in for the catch. 37 yards to Ja'Cory Day. They've gotten some pressure on Battle this possession, but not this time, and it costs them. Now in the red zone, another pressure is sent, and the pass goes off the hands of John Charles. That sets up third and seven. Day to the right slot on the open side. Rush handled and wide open as John Charles gets another chance, and the forward progress is enough to move the chains first and goal. Now perhaps they've overthought things in the red zone lately. What do they do today? On second and goal, touchdown, Ja'Cory Day. A strike from Battle as Day finds the open spot in the zone coverage. Picture perfect here for Kalispell and a great way to get this game started in front of the home fans. I know we're not feeling too well about the defense after the last game that they played and they're up against Adam Washington leading this Wolfpack offense. Washington having a phenomenal start to the year but some movement here and a false start. Second down and 15, Adam Washington throws this pass away. Kalispell got some interior rush on that snap, so third and 15. Just three on the rush. Washington has the time. Throwing up top, one on one. Cut by Barry inside the 30. 52 yards to Jonas Barry. Kalispell coming off a game where they gave up over 450 yards of offense. Now it's a screen to their top running back, James Powell. It's a loss of one. Great job by Wesley Merrill. Second and 11. Wilson spins after making the catch and gets upfield in a hurry for a gain of 16. Washington has nine total touchdowns on the year, no interceptions, and finds Barry again. Gain of eight puts them inside the five. Wolfpack believe they have the answer. Short drop, fire end zone, touchdown, Jonas Berry. 52 yards on the first catch and then a few plays later he caps it off. This game is tied. Could it be another back and forth offensive game? Kalispell football and some trouble here for Roscoe Sheridan. The Wolfpack surrounds him. Loss of a couple, here's Battle heading to the air again, rolling outside and finding Amante Jones working all the way across the field. Gain of 12. John Charles motions to the right side and the handoff goes to Sheridan, just going right up the middle behind that offensive line to get enough to move the chains. Now Corey Miller checks in at tailback, it's his turn, cutting right, dragged down, but about five yards on the run. Kalispell didn't do a ton of running in last week's game. Now it's a second down and the quick rush sacks battle for a loss of six. Even on these short dropbacks, he's seeing a lot of pressure. 
Now it's third and 11. More rush through the middle and battle is sacked on consecutive plays. Jimmy Lowe brings him down. Left tackle Bryce Wiley has had some trouble this year and that spin move sure beat him. Tie game now as we see the Wolfpack offense trying to continue it. They built on their first drive and there is Jonas Berry who really did most of the work for them. Again across the middle, that time it's broken up. Nice job by Malcolm Tyson in man-to-man -man coverage. Offset eye behind Washington, quick throw again, trying to hit Jonas Berry. He's covered, it's incomplete. Kelly John Charles creeps down. Blitzing on third down, Washington well protected. Over the middle, Wilson is wrapped up by Alex Hardy. Nice rush there by Kalispell, and they make the play. So a long field goal for the Wolfpack, oh, 51 yards. And this kick is good, 10-7. The pressure applied by this Wolfpack front definitely has me concerned as they send another rush at battle. He rolls right, finds Day, who cuts up and gets about eight. Kalispell getting into some good third downs at least, giving themselves options. They're going to Sheridan, following his blockers, Gallagher makes a block, so does Amante Jones. That's a 20 yard run, and easily the biggest so far in the game for Kalispell. On to the second quarter now in the monster package, it's just a dump off, and McClellan has some running room. This defense not ready for that play or that formation. That's 13 more. Kalispell back in Wolfpack territory. Outside again, this time it's Miller. Again, Jones does a great job. Miller spins his way forward and picks up 21. One-upping Roscoe Sheridan. So there you go. Kalispell tries to pound the ball. It doesn't work. Now two sweeps, they have 41 yards. Some motion now with Jones. Battle rolls right and throws a strike to Oscar Williams. A lot of different play design now as they try to combat this rush from the Wolfpack. Hand off, right stuffed. Ja'Cory Day, not the same kind of run blocker as Amante Jones. So it's third and five, Warhawks. Battle to the end zone, broken up. He's lucky it wasn't taken away. Now he had Day breaking to the back pylon, and maybe it was an interesting idea, but there was the defender lurking underneath. Kalispell adds a field goal, so here we go, tied at 10. And now the first run of the game for the Wolfpack to James Powell, he gets 11 yards. Going right back to the air though, Washington to the open Tatum inside the 35, shoved out by Glenn Hayes. They have been so focused on throwing. Now it's the blitz, Washington not ready for it, and that is Hayes who brings him down. He's like a defensive gadget player, you can do so much with Hayes. Third and nine now, and Kalispell dials up the rush. Throwing quick to Wilson, nice job. Kalispell needs to get better on third down after last week, and that was a great stop. 13-10 as the Wolfpack pull in front again. And back to running outside zone with Roscoe Sheridan. There's a gain of six. Third and short, now it's Miller. He runs off tackle right behind Oscar Williams and picks up enough to keep the drive moving. 30 yards on the ground now for Miller. And a first down pass with the inside rush. Swing to Miller, he loses yardage. There's just so much commotion up front for battle. Now second down and 14, better protection. And an open man, Justin McClellan ran a great route. And that is 15 to move the chains. Kalispell with three receivers in the game. Another blitz, this time from the secondary as John Charles was left wide open. And that's a quick gain of 12. Battle passing the ball pretty effectively today. Wide open again, John Charles. They're doing so much with their rushes, they're leaving really big vacated zones in the defense. Their whole game plan is to try getting pressure on Battle. Now just four on the rush, complete to Oscar Williams. Sheds the tackle and I like the effort to get the first down. The Warhawks are back inside the 10, and it's a toss to Sheridan, but he wants to throw it to Williams, who turns up and breaks the plane! Touchdown! It's a halfback pass for Roscoe Sheridan, the first passing touchdown of his career. They got a nice look. There wasn't an outside defender that was going to ruin this call, so they stick with it and execute it perfectly. 
And for Oscar Williams, nice to see him come through when the team asks him to. 17 to 13 late in the first half as Nevada says they're not done yet. Hardy lost track of Wilson and that's gonna cost Kalispell as the Wolfpack are very close to scoring range. Both safeties back deep, but John Charles and Evans have swapped sides today. Washington looks to take off and he ends up sacked for a loss by Chris Harrison. Seven seconds to go in the half. Washington running again. Kalispell ready for it, Alex Hardy. That's some great defense by Kalispell. Now it's fourth down and they have one chance, but they have a pretty good chance. Washington puts it up long and it's broken up by Scott Green to end the first half. Another competitive half and this time Kalispell in front by four, but definitely have some things to clean up in the second half. Nice first half of football there for Kalispell, allowing just one touchdown on defense and scoring a couple on offense. Going into this third quarter, I'm really focused on the trench battle on both sides because Nevada's been really aggressive. Oh, they fake the end around here on the run by Washington, and Kalispell's all over it. Kind of a naked bootleg sort of play there, but Kalispell hasn't let Washington run today. Now it's third and four. Everyone's covered. Washington sees nothing, so he runs and gets tripped up by Alex Hardy. It's perfect defense. Kalispell has long struggled against the mobile quarterback. Yet today, they've done a fantastic job containing Washington. Now it's Warhawk football trying to run left with Sheridan, but these more inside focus runs really haven't worked for them. Third down and nine. No blitz here from the Wolfpack, and they leave day wide open across the middle. I would not advise doing that. Gain of 19. To the shotgun now. Hands off Sheridan. He's sweeping. Cuts it up, and he turns maybe a one-yard gain into a six-yard gain. Well done. Now Sheridan to battles right, and they're on it left. Good block by Gallagher, and into the secondary, racing past defenders. All the way to the 21, there is another 25-yard pickup. Big chunk runs have not been Kalispell's forte these last couple of years. Now Battle sidesteps the rush and takes the contact, finding John Charles, points on the board for Kalispell. Good subtle pocket movement and then the perfect throw, even knowing the rush is about to arrive. 24-13, Warhawks. It's a pitch to Powell on first down, and he gets tripped up initially by Hayes. Loss of five. We've seen almost nothing from Powell today. They're not giving him the football. Now on third and 12, complete to Dwayne Wilson, but shy of the marker by about four yards. Nice stop by Kalispell. They built a lead last week against San Jose State, but couldn't hold it. Today they have that chance again. Going for the deep shot, broken up. Perfect coverage by Tyrone Carlson against Ja'Cory Day. Third and long now for the Warhawks. Wolfpack could definitely use this stop. Battle hangs tough and throws through the tightest window to find John Charles. Those kinds of throws are going to give him a chance to make it to the next level. Back to the run now, running left Sheridan. Not much here, maybe three. Nevada beginning to sniff out some of those outside zone plays. Battle to the air with the pocket flattening in front of him. Throws it up, double coverage, Williams pulls it down, touchdown! Lamar Williams with his team leading, fourth receiving touchdown this season. The throw is perfect and Williams, while not separating, is in the right position to make the play. That's amazing right there. That was a phenomenal play. And I'm happy Lamar Williams is finding a way to contribute the big plays. It feels like Kalispell is beginning to dictate this game right now. It's 31-13 as James Powell makes the catch. The Wolfpack began this game one-dimensional by choice, and now they pretty much have to throw the rest of the game as Washington throws this pass away. He hasn't wanted to deal with much pressure today. Third and five and the rush sent again. Washington to White, gets upfield in a hurry, move the chains. This is a team that averaged 207 rushing yards per game coming in. On first and 10, Washington scrambles into pressure and that is Brandon Leak. 
Here's third down again. John Charles up high. Blitz sent. Outside the Tatum who can't stay in bounds. Fourth down Wolfpack and they bring on the field goal team. This one's tough. 57 yards and he nailed it. Big kick for the Wolfpack. It's a two score game. Down 15. Third quarter coming to a close as Ja'Cory Day fields this kick. Gets a big lane out across the 30 and heads toward the sideline with a great return. Kalispell back on offense. They run outside. Sheridan continues to dominate, getting 11. And he can definitely thank his blockers who have done a phenomenal job walling off the outside. Quick throw again, John Charles has stayed busy today. The Wolfpack haven't really thought to cover him many times. We are on to the fourth quarter, going up the middle this time, and again, not much there for Roscoe Sheridan. He has reached 100 yards, however. Soft secondary on third down, battle tries to escape the rush, but he will not. And that will bring on Lorenzo Bell. It's a 53-yard field goal try. Slight wind facing Callis Bell. As Bell kicks into the wind and drills the kick. That puts the Warhawks back up by three scores. A lot of desperation now for the Wolfpack offense. They've been really quiet in this half. Washington looks to scramble and is taken down again. Perfectly played by Anthony Owens. We've seen some outstanding defense in this game. Second and nine, pressure on Washington. He does find Powell, and that makes it third and short. Getting in press coverage now. Hand off Powell. Stiff arms his way through contact, picks up the first down. That was just his third carry of the game. Single high look. Powell picks up the rush. Washington breaks a tackle, and this is his longest run of the day. Nine yards, most of those after contact. Third and short again, pitch left. It's White, he won't get there. It's Shannon Evans. The Warhawks flipped their safeties this week, moving Shannon Evans to strong safety, keeping him down near the line. He has three tackles for a loss today and has done a really good job in that role. Going forward on fourth down, Wolfpack will get the conversion, James Powell. But Washington now in some pain as he was hit by Alex Hardy. And that will call on the second string quarterback, Matt Ball. He looks to scramble on first down. And he finds a little daylight, but not a ton. This is a gain of seven. Wolfpack into plus territory. On second down, Ball looking to run again and can't get away. He is sacked. This time it is Nate Graham. Third and four for the Wolfpack as Ball throws off the mark. Looking to his left, Shannon Evans in coverage. Now it's fourth down. Kalispell trying to take the football. They blitz Ball. He rolls right and is sacked. Another pressure for Kalispell. This time Titus Graves will get the credit. Kalispell takes over and they will look to get closer to victory. As battle rolls right, finds Ja'Cory Day, and the chains will move. That's five catches for Day. Two tight ends on the field, running off tackle again. Sheridan gets around the safety. Nice block, Ja'Cory Day. Another long run. Kalispell has had four go for 20 or more. And there you see what happens when you underestimate Sheridan's speed. First and goal. Up the middle now, trying to use the power. They'll get a couple. Third and goal, Kalispell, they've been excellent on third down. They run it off tackle, and no one's home to stop Roscoe Sheridan. Touchdown, Warhawks. Big day for Sheridan and this ground attack. 41 to 16. Now we are just a few minutes from this game being over as Bull looks to scramble. He is taken down right near the line of scrimmage. Just two and a half minutes on the clock. Scrambling again. Ball wrapped up from behind. Gain of one. They have been outstanding in quarterback contained defense. Kalispell brings in the backups now as senior quarterback Brett Mitchell hands off to Terrence McKinley. And that's a loss of one. Mitchell running some option now. Flips it out to McKinley as we get a few more snaps in. That may be a gain of two. But Kalispell on their way to win number four. 
It's a sweep. Kyle Thomas gets his first career carry. The speedy running back is stopped in the backfield. They'll run one more snap, just going for it, and Thomas does not come close. So, one more play for Nevada, as this game will be over right after this. Barry makes the catch, he's wrapped up. That's a win for the Warhawks, and a good one too. Final score, 41 to 16. That is the game we needed to see from this team. Offense was spectacular. Three touchdown passes from JR Battle. Could have been four if we had not run a halfback pass. They did make it tough on us at times, but we just answered making just high quality plays. Battle's accuracy has been a game changer this year, and some of these throws are just incredible. Throws like this one to Hayden John Charles, or that big third down conversion earlier in the game for like 20 something yards. And I really like this play. Going deep to Lamar Williams, the positioning was perfect. And then you also consider how well we ran the ball, especially outside the tackles. We figured that out early on and we just kept running outside. And Amante Jones is such a great blocker that he made a lot of those long runs possible. For the defense, I can't believe how well they stopped the quarterback runs and we just made everything tough on them. Our zone blitzes were effective. We were able to basically spy the quarterback without even calling quarterback spies really. We always had linebackers in position to stop their plays and the linebackers had the best game they've played all year by far. So there's a lot to be happy about from this game. It was as perfect of a performance as you can ask in the very imperfect sport of football. So with that, we'll look ahead to what's next. And the next episode is going to be recruiting focused for Kalispell as Blackjack and I are putting together the next recruiting special. And I will say that so far the recruiting season has not began great, but there are a lot of great players that we are in serious contention for. It's just not the smoothest beginning I've seen. And I'll talk about that more next episode. We are not quite halfway through this season yet, these seasons go by so quickly, but here are the numbers with JR Battle having 11 touchdowns and 2 interceptions. Roscoe Sheridan has been great, especially today. Hayden John Charles has made some big plays for us. Lamar Williams, really impressive, 216 yards on 8 catches, 27 yards a catch. Half of his catches have been touchdowns. He will certainly get more looks moving forward. In our next game, following the bye week, will be against New Mexico, who have that dominant option rushing attack that's given us fits throughout the years. I don't enjoy playing against New Mexico because they always have great quarterbacks and great running backs. They're so deep at running back, it's just never going to get easier, so don't expect it to. They're just going to be a tough matchup every year, I think. One more thing I wanted to close on, I just wanted to see what Jesse Heikinen was doing here in his big first season, and his season has come to an end early. He suffered a season-ending injury in just the second start of his career, which was maybe the worst game of football he has ever played. An upper arm fracture was the injury, and before the injury, he was 5 for 25. 20% completion, 82 yards, three interceptions. So not a good year so far for UCLA and Jesse Heikinen will only have two years of eligibility left moving forward. Well, that's going to wrap up this episode. Much more fun this week than last as Kalispell wins big in dominant fashion. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more Kalispell Dynasty and I'll see you with a recruiting special here in a couple days. Have a great day and I'll see you then.